But this is basically it. Other than attaching the chainsaw to this thing. Once you do, once I do, this will go up and down. All right, here it goes. First try. Here goes. Maiden voyage. Slide the wood up against the stop. Testing the sump pump. Hey, here it goes. Re almost ready to. Almost ready to overflow. overflowing. Now you can hear it overflowing down that, past that, and over into the drain. There's the drain. 
come down this pipe. From here. Here goes. Sucking the water out of there. Put it in there. And there it is filling from the bottom. Almost full. Looks like it's full. Should be overflowing by any time. Here it comes. Took about 55 degrees. And there we go. <laughs> All right, take that steam and water. Steam coming off of it. All right, it's been about uh, what? Three hours of burning. And I got 82 degrees. I started burning at uh, 1230. I started boiling water at 1230. Not sure what time it is now, but it's 82 degrees. The water. Up from 55 when I started. Alright, I got up the I just got out and it was 99 in there. I got it up to 99 by me me being in there and having that cover half on and swishing the warm water all around. So uh, air temperature out here is 61. I guess that's pretty good. I'm gonna cover it all up and uh, Try to get it to about 110 and cover it all up. All right, I, d I just measured the temperature, 101. That's with that lid on. And it's pretty much covered every, covered everywhere except that. So I'm just swishing it around, swishing it around. When it fires out, I'll cover it. Hopefully I can get up about 110. All right, here's what I got going on now. I just measured the temperature, 104 degrees. So 
I'm just going to let it squirt in like that until the fire goes out. Once the fire is out, I'm done for the day, and I'll cover that up. Then hopefully it can be at 110. And the air temperature out here is like 61, so. Filter pump works. Okay, got the first bag in. I don't know if you can see this very good, but. Look at the pieces of a uh, tree cutting scraps. Bracing the bottom. So anyway, in between each sandbag, I'm digging a hole, which goes under the little fence and out into the lake. I don't know if you can see this, but alright here's what I'm doing. I got the first six bags down. Six full bags on the bottom with a big hole going in between each and then one two three four five half bags on the top with that brick kind of protecting because I'm going to fill this all up with rock that'll kind of keep some of the white rock from clogging my drain holes and do that all the way along Well, here's me working on my yard. This is what I got so far. But there's that big root. So I got to dig from them rocks on out. Got to dig deeper. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to go to about right here. Or right about there. And see if I can't put a pipe in the ground. Making most of all this water go out the pipe instead of draining into that hole there. You know, I don't really want a lot of water going in behind that. Uh, retaining wall so anyway there's my bloody <coughs> I got the filter running the water was kind of cloudy And the uh, the chlorine level was way down, so I added chlorine just the right amount. Got that figured out. Added the same amount of chlorine into that. And uh, I'm sure that'll clear up pretty soon. And here's the suck bottle. A lot of work. Okay, the suck bottle is installed. There it is, ready to suck. Oh, 
Alright, testing the suck tube. Okay, so that's that's the water heater water coming in through here. Suck tube. So I built a little dam built a little dam right there on a the mud and I got a pipe under there and them rocks so the water should pile up in there and squirt out the pipe and not go into the I don't want going behind that wall. Oh, and here's one of them cables. Thing is working. <coughs> Pretty much done with the little drainage trough. Off the rocks. A little dam at the end. And then I gotta fill the very end with rocks. And that'll be it. So they got a test going here. It's all filling up. And it's dripping out, so we're good. So yeah, hey Marcus, Chris again. Here's my pump. I'm sucking lake water out of that black hose going down into the water and then I can squirt lake water out of the gray hose so I was thinking mix up some of that chemical and yeah I could squirt it I could squirt it probably almost that island I could treat this entire half of the lake with a garden hose by squirting premixed chemicals out of a barrel All right, here goes. Well, it doesn't score as far as I'd hoped, but I'll play with it. Three guys are here. <laughs> yeah, that's a big rope. Yep. We got bigger. We got way bigger. We got bull rope and all that stuff. Yep. Watch your head. He's going to start throwing stuff. <laughs> this right here is what this handsaw is made for. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of 
job. Yeah, nice soft wood. Yes. That big branch, you're not going to cut that way, are you? No. You have those guys you, uh, you pull a pull a chainsaw up with a rope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of chainsaw, I'm gonna move that before we break it. Yeah, let me let me make sure it looks clear going up through here. Well, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'll call you, bud. Come on. But they're all done. Okay, it looks good. That tree on the left, they trimmed it all the way up until it was kind of even. With the tree on the right. Got a big old pile of firewood here. Lots of brush back there. I don't think the geese are coming up through that way for a while. Well, right now I'm cutting a piece of wood. I'm cutting three pieces of wood six feet long so that I can uh, stretch them across that section at the top, one in the middle, one at each end. And they can hold a little wall that I built up. So that's the next step. Instead of having this big long board do it, I'm cutting three six footers. Because eventually there'll be seven six footers up there, so. Get the basic framework done. Okay, this water is really clearing up. It's good. It's gonna work good. We we did that area today. Kind of everything this side of that island has been treated either a week ago or today. And as you can see, this stuff up close that we treated a week ago is really clearing up good. So woo! I 
could by the end of this end of the year I have at least half the half the lake will be done. Check it out, the water is really looking good. clear now all this stuff up close is going Looking good. Yeah, hi Judy. Yes, it is brutal. I've been I moved that bird thing from from right there over to there and I concreted it into the ground. And I put him a I put him a uh, water feeder there. And I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna make a water feeder out of uh, a bottle. And uh, I've already been in there once in my underwear. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. Check out this bird, wild bird oasis. Feeders. Got him a watering station. And a little bird bath. And that's where I'm going after I get something to eat. All right, I moved the pole. I concreted a pole into the ground. I found I had a pipe and I cut it. I thought I did and I found it and I cut it and here it is there's what the squirrels will see I think they ought to be able to make that and so I, I added a ladder Here goes. Gonna make a fire. That's the hollowed out part of the first log. Goes all the way down. This other log hollow in the middle. So here goes. A little bit of squirt. Ready to light a match. Look at it. It's like a blast furnace.
Okay, so that fire, the fire's put out. And the way that log is, it's like... It's like the bottom part is a, is a stove. And then this top one sits on there and it's like a chimney. So it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to save all of these hollowed out logs and do them like this. Once that bottom one burns up too much, that next one can end up being the bottom one for the next, for, for one of these other ones with holes in it, with a hole in it, like that one. Probably get a whole bunch of fires out of them this way. Got her done. Framework done. Just like the Tim, just like the Tim Butler model. There it is. Ugh, without the. I don't have the top attached, but that's it. Pretty much like yours. Got them turned the other way, like you said. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Okay, let me start. Got the cable up. If you can see that or not, but it's up. Gonna take it down tomorrow when those other parts come in. Put this, put the those other parts on each end of the cable for added strength, and then uh, that's it. Yeah, it'll work. I'm making it now. <laughs> <laughs>